Hello everyone, I'm Colin Cadet. Today we've got something completely different for you. As you can tell from the background, uh, I have a press. And today we're going to test some of those joints that we talked about in lengthening boards. So let's have a look. So what I have here is a little press. Uh, I got it on sale. It was very good price and I've done some modification to it so that we can test some different things and today we're going to be testing some joints. The gauge is up here so I have a different camera directly on the gauge and I'll be zooming in here to um, where the action is going to be happening and I'll be using this little crank here off to the side so I stand away from it. So that's what we're going to do. Let me show you the wood we're testing today. So the joints I'm going to be testing today uh, are all the butt joints, the pre-glued, uh, the not pre-glued joint. I'm going to be testing, oh, I did a biscuit joint. We didn't, we didn't talk about biscuits, but I, I made a biscuit joint. And the, of course, the dowel, we talked about the dowel and the finger joint. And you can see that I put some, a uh, little bit of stain on there so you can actually see how that finger joint fits. Now, what I'm not going to be testing today and it's a joint that I didn't talk about called the lap joint. And it's a fairly common joint uh, where just two pieces of wood that can fit together in a variety of configurations. I'm not testing this because um, the glue here would be so strong it would never break. What The weak part in this is going to be here and here. And it really depends on the wood. This is pine. If it was oak, you'd have a totally different um, a set of, of tests, so our results from tests. The other joint I'm not going to be testing that we did talk about was the scarf joint. And again, I'm not going to be testing the scarf joint because it's going to depend on the wood. Uh, oak would test far differently than pine would, so we'd really just be testing wood because that joint is not going to break. Uh, the wood is going to break first of all, so I'm not going to be testing those. So let's start off looking at these. Okay, number one is the um, not pre-glued, so just put glue on there, clamp the two sides together. Uh, and I think this is probably going to be the weakest, but we'll have a look. Here's the next one, number two, and this is pre-glued. So this was glued on each side, left for 15 minutes, then re-glued and clamped. So Okay, number three is the biscuit joint, uh, and I made a particular uh, effort to make sure it was all very well glued in there. So, So this is number four, and this is the dowel joint. Now this is number five and this is the finger joint. I expect this one to be the strongest by probably quite a large margin.
Well, that was very interesting. Let's take a quick look at the results here. Uh, and the worst one of, of all of these was the biscuit. Uh, and I, I'm always a bit disappointed with biscuits. I always think they're going to perform better, but <laughs> they, uh, they just don't seem to. Um, in fact, even just putting nothing in there, just gluing and clamping it together um, gave quite a bit, almost double what a biscuit did there. I don't know why that is, but um, um, then the dowel, I expected the dowel to do a little bit better than it did. It did 320 um, and pre-gluing, so that was gluing, putting glue on both sides, waiting 15 minutes, re-gluing and clamping, actually did 340, so very similar to the dowel, but the big difference is this comes right apart. The dowel, if you look closely, you'll see that the dowel is actually pulling the wood fibers from the holes where the dowel is. And it's, I can't even really move that now. I had to take this apart on the press and keep jiggling it. So it's kind of still holding, but well, it is very much still holding, um, but it's not the, the joint that we want. And the best, uh, and I thought it would be, the finger joint, uh, I was a bit, one thing that surprised me about the finger joint was the fact that it, um, it the glue didn't really fail, but again, it pulled the wood fibers. I don't know if you can really see, but it pulled the wood fibers from each side. So it wasn't really a glue failure, um, but it was a joint failure in a sense. But uh, look at 540 uh, and easily the best of all of these. So finger joint won that one hands down. Well, that concludes my video for today. You know, I always think it's fascinating to put some actual science uh, as rudimentary as it might be, at least we have a little bit more of an idea when we're putting together butt joints. And butt joints are the biggest problematic joint in woodworking. So if we can look at some different ways of doing it and what we can expect when we do them, it'll be something we could work with in the future. I'm Colin Kanat for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.